Hello everyone, welcome back, thanks for watching, and today I'll be showing you this fancy machine, which I have dubbed the Rainbow Machine, because it's providing me with every color of wool, without pretty much any maintenance. The only thing you need is occasionally replace the shears, but you'll get very far on one pair of shears. And what it does is pretty simple. Since Minecraft 1.1, the sheep regrow their wool by eating the grass from the soil and uh, well, it will turn into regular dirt. But this uh, grass will regrow, as you certainly know. And well, you can use this to your advantage with red power machines. The deployers will work correctly when, when interacting with animals. So um, if I put the shears in here, they will interact with the sheep as if I would hold them in my hand and right click. So what the machine will do is simply I turn it on. It will use the item in the deployer on what's before. And there's sheep in our case in front of it. It will use it to share the sheep, suck the wool in with the deployer and put it well into any kind of inventory. I'll be using this project table because it's very useful. You could, for example, use it to set up your insulated wires, just like that. And when you let the machine running for a while, it will fill the whole project table with colored wool and you could use it to maintain your well, well wire production or whatever you could also just store it and do whatever with it so let's start and show you how i built this so first of all we need to clear a bit of space um i'll build it right about here we'll need 7 by 18 blocks of space for all that and the pro tip is to clear any brush and shrubbery using a red power 2 sickle this will be much faster than uh, clearing all those by hand um, yeah use the sickle it's very um, cool for this so um, first of all we are going to, going to start by placing our uh, stables. We'll need uh, eight stables on each side. I'll be building it in a fashion about that. Um, we are going to put sheep into our stables later. And those will be used to well, grow the wool and shear it. So next you'll need some fences. Build some teeny tiny stables for our sheep to be by putting them down like this. All right, next we'll be placing our deployers. We'll need one for each sheep, so 16 deployers in total. Put them right in the holes you left free, like that. We'll need to put shears in all of these later. And now we want to fill in these holes. Just I'll, I'll be using regular fence gates to, clo to close them up. Um, that's very useful because you will need to lure the sheep in and I found the fence gates to be quite uh, okay for that. I'll be putting them down on this side too. Here we go. Now we'll be filling up um, the second row of blocks like so. Because we put the deployers down here and those are only one block high, we'll need to put down the second row of blocks so the sheep won't escape. Like so. Next, grab some redstone tube and put it one block above this row. 
like so. Place the tubes like so, so that above each cell there is a piece of tube hanging above the space where the sheep will be. And now we can place our transposers like so, facing downward into the area for the sheep. These will be used to collect the wool that will shear off those sheep. Now that the transposers are in place, just put down some red ally wire on the floor. For example, like this to connect the deployers. We might want to uh, add some torches in here so you don't have monsters spawning in here for good measure. For example, like this. And now we want to connect the tubes above also. Um, can run a wire up here, for example, like that. And to connect this uh, wire to the tubes, you'll have to use some um, uh, jacketed wire. Let me just quickly make some of that. Just get some covers and add single piece of red alloy and you'll have jacketed wire and this you can use to connect these red alloy wires to the tubes and now we can put our timer for example here maybe <coughs> sorry maybe add a lever like so so we can turn it on and off and well that's almost the whole machine just add some regular tubes that will put out your um, your wool and I'll be adding a project table to this space in a moment but now that the machine is almost done we can now uh, put some sheep into it so let's get some sheep it's pretty simple we have the fence gates installed there just take a piece of uh, wheat and the sheep will follow you right into their cells. Let me put a sheep in here. You can push it a little so it'll get into its box like so. Repeat for every box and I'll be back when I got that done. So now I got a sheep in every compartment of the machine. And now we want to dye the sheep, so each sheep has different color of wool. Um, let's just get a small chest, so I can put all my junk into, the, into it, so I can get those items. Just put my stuff into the chest. So now I get the dyes and I'll start coloring my sheep. Of course you can also use um, already naturally colored sheep, it won't really matter. So now I've got a sheet of every color. For each compartment, one sheet. Now let me just move 
the project table to this location right here. And this tube will feed the wool right into the project table. Now the last thing we need is some iron for our shears. Just make 16 pair pairs of shears. And you'll just have to put the, uh, the shears, one shear in each deployer. So I put shears in all the deployers. Now the machine is ready to go. Just flick the lever and the machine will turn on. And the shears in those deployers will fire and shear the sheep. And the transposers will grab the colored wool and put it into the project's table inventory. As you can see now you've got or in a minute you'll have wool of every color in here and the sheep will eat the grass which will regrow un underneath them and they will regrow the or the color you dyed them in that's the whole um, well secret about this so the sheep will regrow the color they had when you dyed them. So they'll always keep the, the color you made them. So this machine will provide you with every color of wool without any maintenance, except that, well, every several stacks, you might want to replace the shears you get very far with only one pair of shears, so no worries. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and the idea of building this to supply you with some colored wool. I think it's a pretty solid design and it's not very sophisticated, but it's uh, pretty useful and well, I hope it'll help you in obtaining all the wool you need. Thanks for watching and enjoy building.